Hey everybody, this is Elijah with Factory Cleaning Equipment. Just wanted to do a short clip of the E-Mist sprayer and, and some of the things that's been happening with it. Um, so E-Mist, obviously there are some dripping issues with some of these sprayers. E-Mist did a really good job in coming up with a new nozzle kit to, uh, to apply to these sprayers to help assist with that. Um, so if you don't have one of those and you purchase from us, please reach out to us. Be happy to, to get you taken care of and send one out your way. Um, people still are encountering some dripping issues even though they have the new nozzle system. The reason being, from my experience, is that all disinfectants, they have a surfactant in it. A surfactant basically is a sticking compound within the, the, the chemistry of the product that helps it stick to the surface. So that's what a surfactant is. So with that being said, and disinfectants having it in every disinfectant, if you're not routinely flushing out the system, you're still gonna experience some dripping, if not clogging issues, if you're not routinely flushing out your sprayer. So what I highly recommend doing is, uh, the, the number one problem that people are having is with non-diluted products. Um, I backtrack a little bit, but uh, non-diluted products, I'm, I'm experiencing the most problems out of uh, chemical solutions like that. So. Um, First and foremost, I would try to look into maybe getting a, a different disinfectant, um, at which point, if you're still encountering issues, it's simply for, for the fact that you're not flushing out the system like you need to be. Um, so, big step, just constantly be flushing out your system, constantly be uh, flushing out your tank. Um, if you have a clogged nozzle, please take the nozzle off, let it soak in a degreaser soap, um, for about 10 to 15 minutes at that point you can put it all back together um, if you haven't checked out my clip on YouTube um, please go go check it out uh, at our YouTube channel uh, FCE um, it'll it'll explain how to adjust these nozzles so uh, again if you experience issues even though you have a new nozzle system please just uh, look back into the solution for one and then obviously go ahead and take everything apart um, let it saturate in a degreaser and then put it all back together and you should be spraying currently.